What's up, guys? This is the Vinyl Casket, home to the lamest taste. My name is Nick. Thank you for checking out the channel. You can check out my YouTube channel at the Vinyl Casket, all one word, on YouTube, where you can subscribe, like, and comment for much, much more. We do trailer reactions. We do con weekly comic book reviews, and we do TV and movie reviews. So if you can't tell, I'm going to adjust that a little bit, and boom. We are talking about episode three of House of the Dragon. This is the new HBO original, HBO Max prequel sequel to Game of Thrones. Um, episode three was titled Second of His Name. Um, it was premiered on September 4th, 2022, which is this past Sunday. So unlike the first two episodes, I'm not late with my review. I am only like, you know, a day off, two days off. Yesterday was a holiday, so wasn't around. Um, yeah, amazing. So this show, we'll get it right off the bat. This quick little review. I'm going to talk about it graphically, technically, film, edit, all that stuff. CGI, most importantly. All modern or beyond modern. Perfect in every aspect. Nothing that really jumps out at me. Maybe the, you know indoor lighting but it hits like that atmosphere so it's not that bad but you know it's still good it's still really really good in everything it's just straight across the board solid um episode wise um as as they have been the cast has been pretty solid um the ending of this episode really showed a stellar performance and there's bits where the I always forget her gang dang name. Um, M Millie Alec as R Renara. R the princess. Ren I gotta. I, I have to watch it a couple more times to remember how. But the the princess, as pictured here. Um, badass. The scene where she fought. So basically, her storyline here was base was we we hit a, a three, which screwed me up. A three year time skip from last episode this year. This episode, three years have passed. Her best friend, who just married her, who was announced to marry her dad. Um, married him. Uh, had his kid, had a boy, and. Is pregnant with another one, and it's the boys. I believe it's second of his name refers to Aragon. Air, Aragon, Ar, Agon. I don't know how they pronounce these things because they don't make sense in English. Um, but second of his name because he's the second of his name. Um. And it's his, the whole episode is basically his birthday, his his second name day, big festival, big hunt. They're going after this giant white back uh, deer, reindeer, whatever you want to call it. But they can't find it. They find another one. Uh, the daughter ends up finding that one and letting it go. She he's attacked by a boar, kills a boar. Her and like the the king's guard, like captain. He's a boss that she selected. They they go on a thing and she kind of like re reflects on herself. She she's just becoming more and more of a badass very quickly, and I really really like that. Um, and the whole status quo is kind of like everyone around them around this situation believes that she, doesn't matter that she was named heir because there's a boy now that she has a baby brother that he's gonna be the heir and that. They're going to marry her. All these guys are going to marry her and take her away and whatever and, and you know, keep her in a, a seat of their power so they have some kind of tie to the throne. And the father, the king, is kind of unaware of that, but still, like, oh, it's tradition. You have to marry, blah, blah, blah. But in his mind and her mind, well, most of his mind, that didn't click yet. It's that he, she's the heir and she needs to still marry, but you, thinking that she would be the powerful person in the relationship and they would marry to her and and she would rule. Everyone's kind of pushing this kid. And the hand of the kin, king is the father of his new wife. Which is so stupid. 
why he did that, I don't know. I know that she's cool and everything, but he's really putting his hand at the grab for power and trying to get his now grandson to be king. It's kind of messed up, uh, especially because he's two years old. Um, but the king is still persistent that she is going to be queen. She's going to rule. She's the heir still. And when a bunch of Lannisters come up and like had been messing with her, or whatever, and and proposed that to him, he was like, "Wait a minute! Wait a minute! What do you mean? No, she's the heir." And everyone's so confused. And eventually, they reconvene the the the, the king and the princess, and they're like, she, "He he realizes the pressure he he was putting on her, and that no one else saw it the way he did, even her." So he he's like, you have to marry, but who you marry is your choice, and how it works is your choice, and you could do it your way, how you want, when you want. And I thought that was a really cool elevation. Um, and it also like he kind of got down to earth, t- talking to his new wife, and realizing like, okay, I've been letting for the last three years, or uh, however, um, the guy with the dreads, who's like the sea people of Valyrian. They have engaged in the crab feeder, fighting the crab feeder and his like Genghis Kong warriors, uh, with Damien, uh, Damon, the the brother of the king that got kind of exiled. Uh, him and his dragons and stuff, they're going at it, and it's been going on forever and ever and ever. And one of the Valyrian guys was like, Hey, send a letter, we need help, blah blah. blah. So he sends a letter and men saying that he's sending a ship and men and armies to help them because you know what? They're better together and he should have stepped in sooner and whatever. This drives Damon batshit crazy. He attacks the knight that gave him the letter. He storms out, rows a paddle in there, sets up this whole elaborate invasion out of nowhere. I don't know what the time spacing was between him freaking out and then. So we don't get to see that. But he goes in there and one hand single-handedly takes on like this wave after wave after wave. And eventually he gets hit with arrows and he's waiting. And the crab dude's just kind of sitting there. Well, where the heck is the dragon? Where is this dragon? Where is the dragon? And it was just so cool because as he lured everyone out of the caves and away from the crab feeder, his army showed up. And the dragon starts showing up, and now the, the crab guy's like, "Crap! I'm un, I'm I'm defa- I'm I I can't defend myself. I'm st- I don't have anyone around me." And Damon chases him into the cave and comes out with his chopped up cor- carcass and throws that shit in the water. That was awesome. Badass way to end the episode. I thought it was cool as hell. I thought it was really really interesting. Um, hey, what's up? Uh, Diggs, by the way, Diggs BTW7, how are you? Sorry, I didn't see you there. Um, But yeah, really quickly, it was just a really quick end scene that did a really good job of just being fun, interesting, and and really action-packed. The whole episode was pretty good conveying the storyline and pushing these themes and everything i really enjoyed it uh we rank these episodes from one to five we're gonna go with a four and a half this is a really good episode i really liked it um once again this is episode three of almost the game of thrones <laughs> house of the dragon the hbo original hbo hbo max show uh episode three Premiered September 4th, 2022, titled Second of His Name. Awesome episode. Four and a half out of five. Check it out. Really good, good episode. Once again, guys, this is the Vinyl Casket. I'm Nick, home to the lamest taste. You can check out my YouTube channel at The Vinyl Casket, all one word, where you can subscribe, like, and comment, hit the bell for much, much more. And remember to do me a massive favor, guys, and stay lame.